Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Edward and this is another episode of Is It Worth Your Money series on Gamers Clinic. In today's video, I will be going over the technical specifications and then sharing with you my feedback on GameSir's newly released VX Aimbox, which is a multi-platform adapter that allows you to use your favorite keyboard and mouse on any console game. And in case you missed my review on their excellent X2 Type-C Android mobile gaming controller, GameSir is a company that develops and produces gaming peripherals, most which are gaming input devices ranging from controllers to gaming mouse. They have been around since 2010 and their products are quite well received in China's gaming community due to their stellar quality compared to knockoff and off-brand products. So if you like what you see in today's video, feel free to check out the link to GameSir's website which I also leave in the description below and thank you GameSir for sponsoring today's video. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated and that's the details. If you were to look at my collection of console games, you will barely find any shooters because I am terrible at this genre when using a controller. So if you are like me and are looking for a budget solution to instantly upgrade your aiming skills for shooter on consoles, this is where the GameSir VX Aimbox could help without breaking your wallet. My first impressions upon unboxing the GameSir VX Aimbox, I was surprised at how small this thing was. Weighing at 176 grams and measuring at 80 millimeters by 56 millimeters, the VX Aimbox could easily be brought along if you were to go play at a friend's place. The unit is made from sturdy quality matte black plastic, with GameSir's logo being the only glossy part, which also acts as an RGB light cycling switch. Underneath the unit are four rubber feet, which amazingly can provide quite a good grip on my wooden table during gaming so it doesn't get dragged around. At the front of the unit are three reversible USB-A 2.0 ports which allows you to plug in your keyboard and mouse from either orientation, which is a cool feature if you like to game in the dark. At the back, you'll find a USB-C port that is used to deliver additional power to your keyboard and mouse should they use more power than a single USB-A port can provide. Next to that port, you will find a cable that is 515mm in length which is used to connect to your console and it is neatly braided along with the additional micro USB and USB-C that comes in the box. So that's a well thought out addition that adds to the overall value of the product that costs less than $50. Setting up the GameSir VX inbox is pretty straightforward. For PlayStation 4, 5 and Xbox, you simply plug in your favorite keyboard, mouse and controller, plug the VX inbox into your console and then go into the controller settings on your console and turn on the option to use your controller in wired mode. As for the Nintendo Switch, there is an added benefit of not needing to leave your controller connected to the VX inbox for it to work, so that's one less cable to worry about. However, in order to fully unleash the functions of the VX inbox, it is highly recommended that you download GameSource app and then fine tune the settings such as mouse sensitivity, key mappings via the app on your phone. You can easily create and save different setting profiles for different games and once that's done, you can jump into your favorite shooting, shooter and start dominating. So from the past two weeks of playing shooters using the GameSir VX aimbox on consoles again, I have to say I'm loving the experience. As a person who games mainly on PC, the keyboard and mouse combo felt right at home. But this might not be the case if you normally game with a controller. And as input delay is one of the major concerns regarding this kind of accessory, I had to test it before jumping into online matches. So I used one of my favorite rhythm game DJ Max where key press timings are vital just to be sure that the latency was at least the same when using as a controller. And surprisingly, it worked perfectly. Maybe even a little better than when using a wireless controller, but that could just be me. There were no random disconnection issues, unresponsive inputs or latency problems, so that's great news for an adapter that costs less than $50. Though, during this test, there's a catch that I noticed regarding the latency. When using both wired mouse, keyboard and wired mouse, there was no noticeable delay and it was good as GameSir claimed. However, when you switch to a wireless keyboard and mouse, the latency begins to become noticeable. 
When using one wired device paired with one wireless device, there's a little delay, but the game is still playable. But when you switch to both a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse, the latency is quite high that I don't think it's playable for competitive games. But other than that, the app was fairly straightforward to use and could be used to fine tune your input settings even in the middle of a game. You could adjust your mouse sensitivity and remap your keyboard buttons or switch profiles on the fly with a few taps. And having tried using a variety of Razer keyboards and mouse, I was able to get more kills in most online shooter matches than when I used the controller. And the coolest thing was that the aiming assist option in some shooters was still left on as the console still thinks you're using a controller. Though, most might consider this as an unfair advantage, so I'll leave that decision to you. As for the one thing I didn't like was that the cable that runs from the VX ink box to the console is quite short. And because using wireless devices will result in a noticeable delay, I had to move my sofa and table closer to the TV so that the cables would be long enough. But overall, at 50 US dollars, GameSer's newly released VX Aimbox has all the basic functions that you will find on popular and expensive adapters such as Sim Apex and Cronus Max, but with the extra features removed such as headphones or cross-platform controller support. But if you're simply looking for a budget option that will allow you to use a keyboard and mouse on consoles, then this is an accessory to get. So thank you again GameSer for sending over this review unit and thank you guys always for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it will help this channel a lot more than you know it. And I'll see you again in the next video.